Ladies and gents, pull up a chair because it's time for a little chat about Sadiq Khan, London's very own master of disaster. Now you might think I'm laying it on a bit thick, but hold your horses because I'm just getting started. The New Year's fireworks, a time-honoured spectacle of joy, turned into Sadiq's personal virtue signal and fiesta. The Mayor of London presents, the sky said. What, Mayor of London, pray tell, a one-man show in the sky for you? Talk about a sky-high ego. This isn't Khan's private pyrotechnic party. It's supposed to be for the nation, for Pete's sake, to the nation, for God's sake. And who foots the bill for this extravagant sky writing? Well, you guessed it, it's the ever-suffering, ever-paying Great British taxpayer. And under Khan's reign, what have we got? Well, we've got a cocktail of anti-Semitism, we've got statue bashing, we've got punishing the poor with taxes, we've got road names being changed, we've got, let's not forget, knife crime that's more out of control than a bull in a china shop. We just lost a 16-year-old kid one day into the new year, and oh, the ULES stats, more twisted than a pretzel in a Bavarian beer hall. I remember watching those fireworks, right, as a kid, eyes wide open, heart racing, thinking London was this magical land. And you fast forward to today, and Khan's turned it into a, a lecture theatre under the stars. You've got everything from diversity, to the NHS, to gay marriage. It's like Khan's reading us a bedtime story from the Walk Dictionary, just when we're wanted a bit of sparkle to forget about the cost of living nightmare, not some Marxist misery, and narrated, let's not forget, by King Charles III, just to make matters even worse. As much as I love the monarchy, goodness gracious me, change the record. Our society is woven from diverse threads. But here's the real showstopper, Khan's take on knife crime. Apparently, if you're walking around with a mobile phone, you're practically sending out invites to a muggin' party. This isn't just passing the book, it's hurling it into the next postcode. This isn't down to Apple, it's down to Labour. Knife point robberies are up in London, 36% to nearly 8,000 a year. There's a 5% drop in the West Midlands, 16% drop in Greater Manchester. Why is London doing so badly on knife crime and knife robberies? Well, the reason why the Commissioner and I uh, convened a mobile phone operators, manufacturers and platforms because actually the biggest personal robbery is of mobile phones. Now we know 20, 30 years ago car manufacturers managed to reduce the theft of car stereos, reduce the thefts of uh, the tom-toms from cars by yeah. designing away the possibility of doing so. Car stereos yeah, but are it's the it's, I'm sorry to interrupt, it's the use of knives I'm talking about, not mobile phones, it's the use of knives in these attacks that I'm talking about, and the use of knives in such attacks is up more than a third. Yeah, but sure, but the, the, that's because they're trying to steal the mobile phones. Now, let's talk about the £130 million hole in TfL's pocket, money lost to fair dodgers. You'd think Khan would be on this like Sherlock on a mystery, but no, he's too busy writing love letters to himself in the sky. The pompous, poisonous dwarf. And all this while our streets become a playground for criminals, we're losing young lives, and Khan's response is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. And the kicker here is that despite this circus of mismanagement, Khan's poised for an encore in this unrecognisable London. It's like watching a tragic play where the villain gets the applause and the election. On Sky News, instead of tackling knife crime, Khan basically says, own a phone, prepare to groan. That's not leadership, it's an ostrich strategy, head firmly in the sand. So here we stand, at a fork in the road, we've got a, a mayor who's turned City Hall into a walk wonderland, leaving us with a, a to deal with a, a real-world wonderland, the one with more hazards than a game of Frogger. Khan's London is a place where re-election seems as certain as rain in November, and that, my friends, is the sobering, saddening state of our capital city. London is crying out for change, for a leader who's more mayor and less Merlin. We deserve better, so much better than this parade of grandstanding and virtue signalling. So London, it's time to wake up and smell the Thames. We need a change, and we need it yesterday. Not just for London, 
but for the whole nation as well. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.